What's going on, YouTube? Isaac Trade here. Now, before we go any further, if this is your first time tuning in, please consider subscribing to my channel, smashing that like, and don't forget to come follow me on Twitter so you can have your chance to win some commemorative collector's Deutsche coin, silver or copper. I need 5,000 people to start following me before I give away the first coin. The second coin will be given away on the next 5,000, and I will continue to do that for the foreseeable time. Now, let's talk about all this inflation that is everywhere and how easy it is for basically anybody to go out there and make a dollar right now. Like, if you're not making any money right now and you're just in doing the same everyday thing that you've been doing, well, you are wasting your time right now because this is a once-in-a-lifetime moment that comes around every few decades. This is not the time to sit there and be doing the same stuff and asking whether you should or shouldn't. Look, like I tell everybody, I'm not a financial advisor. This is not a recommendation to buy your sunny asset. Before you buy your sunny asset, you'd always consult with the professional. Or hell, don't be lazy, look at some charts, read some articles, listen to a random guy or chick on YouTube. But this is the time where you want to be buying assets that are going to be here in the foreseeable future. You don't want to be buying assets 10 5, 10, 15 years later down the line and saying to yourself, oh, yeah, I remember when this asset was, you know, trading at a fraction of the price it is now back in 2021. And like where I'm going with this video is if you are still sitting there questioning yourself, you really shouldn't. But I'm also not telling you to go out there and go buy very volatile assets like you need to get a long term. Make sure you have a correct long term that pays dividends that is going to continue to grow, that is going to continue to be, you are going to continue to compound your investments. You always need to be compounding the investments so that way it is growing. But it's like that right now, you don't, we are back in the World War II time. I mean, the, there is so much money in the economy. We haven't seen this much money since World War II. Like, back in World War II, there was literally money everywhere. Everybody was making money. But it's like, you don't... This is not the time to sit there and... Thinking you're going to continue doing life the same way. Because this is the times that is going to set not only yourself, but your, your kids' futures and your kids' kids' futures... They're, it's going to set them, give them their, their financial freedom. Like at the end of the day, that's what all this is for. It's for you to be able to attain that financial freedom. Um, I mean, well, that's what I here to do it. I don't know what anybody else is here to do, but I mean, that should be your end game goal is to, you know, get financial freedom, financial stability, come in, make, you know, a couple small correct decisions, you know, and don't over leverage yourself in one asset. I mean, that is probably the dumbest thing you could do is just, put everything in one 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 stock or one in a cryptocurrency because it's not going to run up every day all right this this it is going to pull back it's going to rest it needs to rest you know i mean you're not going to go run a marathon and be doing 100 percent the whole way you're going to burn yourself out you give bursts you go and then you let back you go and you let back that's just the same way the stock market works but you don't want to also go in there and just be buying you know previously like you have to have a criteria you need to slowly position yourself like i believe we're going to be seeing this inflation like tan, 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 um, temper tantrums that well we're going to be seeing it that's gonna come in waves every maybe three to six months and i believe it's going to be here for the next five to ten years this this inflation it's not going to go away quickly, but it's also going to be very, very beneficial. If you play your cards right and you have money on the side, always make sure you have money on the side so you can buy more assets. Don't ever be like, all right, I'm done buying assets. No, you're never done buying assets. You always add to it. Especially when there's like, you know, times like this, because in the next five to 10 years, I'm telling you, a lot of these companies are going to double, triple, quadruple in value, and they're never going to come back to these lows, to these values, to these prices right now, okay? Now, I'm not saying all assets out there are at lows right now, okay? Don't, 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 you know, don't try, don't get it twisted, like, a lot of stuff is overpriced, but what I'm saying is that a lot of these assets that have been around for a long time are going to continue to 
they're going to continue to be, you know, like safe havens and just good investments that are going to continuously put out year over year over year. I mean, you don't want to jump in, you know, volatile, you know, not good stocks. So like where I'm going with this video is just make sure that you have money on the side and make sure that you are buying assets. And if you're still sitting there asking whether you should do it now, well, I mean, ask yourself, why shouldn't you? I mean, you should have, I mean, there's money everywhere right now. So, I mean, you should be able to use what you got and establish some kind of foundation for yourself. There's just, you know, there's just so much money out in the market and in the world. And it's just like, this is the time that this is once in a lifetime for you to be able to get yourself financial freedom. So, like I said, I'm not a professional, but... Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, and come follow me on Twitter. I'm out of here.